Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel once again. It's Abby of Abby's Corner, and as usual, I have Taiwo with me. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. Yeah. How, how was your day today? It was good. Today's Sunday. Yes, Church was good. I danced a lot. The church was great too for me. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Nice. So today, on like last week, we talked about something, you know hilarious or something nice this week it's something quite sad um and also eye-opening like you guys know as we proceed so taiwo you heard about the color day or the color of color day johnson's story yeah yeah i did i did it's a very it's a very tragic story mm -hmm. you know i I was watching the interview with them that um, um, Legit TV did with the father, you know, and he was explaining what really happened. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, it's, it's a sorry situation, and these things happen a lot in Nigeria. Um, you know, the, the guy came back from South Africa, I think, and um, he went out to watch um, soccer. So in Nigeria, you know, we have all these um, viewing centers mm -hmm. where people go to watch Soccer. soccer a lot of people like soccer in nigeria and so the guy was there and there were other people there so apparently something happened there was a um a guy was arrested by this special anti-cultic anti-cultism squad mm -hmm. so it's different from sars i think sars is special anti-robbery squad so this is the cultist part of it so they are meant to um um, um kind of like try to apprehend cultists Cultist. and try to stop cultism on majorly campuses and streets because cultism has left yeah. campuses to the streets to the now. Street, yeah. You know, so so they and they usually wear mufti and that's the thing that throws me off a little bit. These guys don't even wear they don't wear the um, police uniform. Yeah, and so I they wonder wear, why because if you're a police officer you should show their police officer and put on your uniform. Why would you dress Yeah, like, I mean they wear regular. jeans, you know, they wear regular t shirts, mm, you know, and they carry sad. weapons. And so they picked this um, guy who was working with his girlfriend. So his girlfriend came back to the viewing center. I was like, hey, you know, kidnappers, kidnappers. Because she thought they were kidnappers. Yeah. She didn't know that mm -hmm, they were mm -hmm. um, policemen. And then the, the guys themselves came back around. And then the, the Oga, well, the lead the of the team, the boss of the team that led those special anti um, um, special anti cultism squad there came down from his vehicle and then I think he shot into the air. Hmm. You know, he himself said he shot into the air. You can watch the video right So in terms of escaping them all around. So I fired up. So I didn't know how he got to meet the boy in question. That we had a, he, I mean that was shot dead. I don't know. But I only fired one up. So he shot into the air as he said, he said I fired up and then I think the bullet went and he hit um, Coladi Johnson, yeah, who was just an innocent mm. guy, you know, and it's very sad. I, and, and I saw that, and I was like, just you know, for just being at the viewing center, the guy just lost his, lost life. his life. It's very sad. I remember I had, I am, um, I've had experiences with um, Nigerian police forces, although not SARS, but something happened to me several years ago. I think it was about, I think it was 2007 or eight, mm. right about. I was coming out of the bank that time. I I was dressing, you know, I was dressing a little bit. Maybe I was too fly or stuff like that. No, I don't you, know. I don't think I ever fly. When you're in school, you never dress like <laughs> fly. If I was fly, fly in school. Shirt and... No, that day, but that particular day, I was wearing a, I think I was wearing a corduroy. Then I had a chain. I used to have a chain then mm -hmm. that I would wear, you know, I put okay, the chain okay. on my, you know, on my hips, you know, and then I was wearing another chain on my neck. Shit, so, I <laughs> so I was coming out of the bank and the, um, the, it was a mobile police force actually at Mopo. The guy just came to me. Mm. He was very nice when he came to me and was hey, can I see you? Can I talk to you? I thought he wanted to ask me for direction or something. I was like, okay. Was he put on his uniform? He was. He was wearing his uniform okay. with with um, with the um, what's it called? Um, he was he was all kitted up. Okay. So bulletproof vest with the bulletproof vest, oh, okay. and he was carrying a gun. And then I followed him, unknowing to me, unknowingly to me that there was um, a van. You know, they have this downfall. Um, Lagos vans, you know, and he told me to just go into the van. Mm. The moment we got to, to that van, he just changed his countenance and said, I'm going, going, going. I was like, ah, ah, were you not the one smiling to me just now? 
Wow. So, and I entered the van, I, and I saw that there were other police officers in there carrying guns. You know, that's when I was like, oh boy, it's like I've entered one chance. And, and I was like, what did I do? What did I do? I said, shut up there. This one, this one. So the, 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 the one that led the team was in front. And the guy was telling him, shut up. What do you mean? Hmm. Looking at his face, Seth, you know, he, he, his, his eyes were red. I don't know what happened. Maybe he drank, he drank something. Maybe some, he smoked I mean, something. Crazy. I was even scared for myself. Hmm. I was the first person they picked up. And you know one thing? And when they picked me up, he was saying something like, hey, now now go rob um, um, that Alaji Abi. You see, right on the spot, he made up... For our non-Nigerian um, speakers, he, what he just said was, um, you're, you're part of people that went to rob, maybe it's a bank or rob where... Rob somebody, rob like someone. an Alaji. So know? he was being accused of so robbing someone. Just on the spot, yeah. guys, I... He, he came up with 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 an offense right on the spot. That's a bad accusation. Like it's wrong. That was the day I started fearing the German police force, <laughs> and I was like, "Me, Rob, I've never held a gun. I don't even know <laughs> how to shoot or stuff like that." Mm. And he was like, "Hey, now, now go rob this guy, Elijah." I said, "No, I don't know what you're talking about." And this, and before I knew it, you know, he, I was in the I was in the van, and then he went around looking for other people to pick up. There was a guy. Who was on the bike? They mm. stopped the bike and asked the guy to pay the bike man and imagine? then get into the van. Can you just imagine what audacity? <laughs> like it's I was like oh. the brother of the guy was on another bike. That one came and said, No, you cannot arrest my brother. What did he do? They asked him to join too. The guy joined. And you know, the guy was arguing with them. At some point, they stopped the van. They told the other brother, Oh yeah, come down, be going. Mm. And he said, What? Be going. They said he should, he, should, he, should, he should turn his back towards them and be walking. And the police officer cocked his gun. And the guy just came back and said, oh, God, I beg. <laughs> I just, I'm not going again. You know? So, seeing that, that kind of situation, mm -hmm. I, it was... They, they could have... Anything could have happened. Happen, Maybe he yeah. could have killed us and said we were course, robbers. Yeah. Who was going to say we were not robbers? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At the time, social media was not this, you know, agog like it is now. Mm -hmm. So it's a very tiny line between life and death with the um, Nigerian police, police force. force yeah. That's not to say that there aren't a lot of good police officers. I have seen some good police officers. No, I've never met one. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have seen some good police officers. But, do, you know, the, and this brings me to one topic, one interesting thing that I see. It's almost as if, like this guy's case, for example, how did you come out, you know, to want to arrest people who were cultists mm -hmm. And you, did you have information? What, how did you gather exactly. intelligence? Exactly. You understand? Like, before you go out and make an arrest, effect an arrest, you should have, have information, information yeah. on who you are looking for. Mm -hmm. You cannot just go out and, and pick people up it's and then shoot into the serious. air. It doesn't even make sense. So there needs to be some form of reform. I don't know how. Mm. You know, people say and SARS, and SARS. At some point, I'm beginning to think about it. Maybe SARS should, should be ended, really. Should be ended. There's but, really no need. But in, in the other side, and on the other side of it, you know, these guys. There's some very good ones among them. Hmm. Just like there are bad people everywhere. There are bad bankers. There are bad professors. There are bad um, pastors. In fact, there are bad everything. So we we'll have the bad ones among them. But something should be done. You know, in general, because they, this is a decay in the system. In, I mean, it's, you know, we can see mm -hmm. these cases are becoming too frequent. Imagine that day, they would have shot that guy that I talked about, and that was it. That would have been it. And then they would just tag a particular um, you offense or a particular crime on him and said, you know, said he did something or he robbed or killed you someone. Know, you know, it's crazy. So it's, it's, so it's, then I don't know how the recruitment process is like for the Nigerian police. Also, because some of these guys that actually I mean, they're you, uneducated, like... Not all of them. <laughs> I've not, I said, I've not seen, I've not seen, I've not seen. Calm I'm down. Not <laughs> calm down. <laughs> calm so down. There are educated ones among them. But... <laughs> I, you know, so so it's it's very sad. I, our condolences to the family of Kolade Johnson. Yeah, it's it's sad. It's, yeah. it's 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 sad when you lose somebody who is young, who is promising, who has a lot to a lot ahead of him. No, it's very family, sad. I mean, so it's our condolences sad. to the family. Um, may God give you the fortitude to bear this loss. irreplaceable mm. loss. You mm. know, so um so yeah. So moving on, then where the commissioner? Yeah. So um the commissioner of police visited the family. You know, and tried to you know. Um, one thing I do appreciate out of this thing is that the police they are stepping up to the game, you know. At least probably for the maybe for the first time they are actually owning up and you know they even paraded the guys. We give them that one. That's good. That's see. Let's encourage stuff like this. Okay. Let's encourage stuff like this. We, we, we cannot just be saying it's bad, bad, bad every time. At least they're owning up. 
you know the deed has been done mm. but at least they are holding up to say hey this is what happened you know and so then and then there's this other tangential topic to this where one of the police officers yeah. was saying that um people who wear dreads mm -hmm. and who have mm -hmm. tattoos um that those things are alien to our culture and that they would almost most definitely pick up people who have those kind of things and i'm like you would, mm -hmm. uh, the question to even ask is that why is he not putting non leaves on his body <laughs> or why is it, I, 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 that statement doesn't even make sense it means you're trying to say nigeria is not exposed we are not we are not culturally aware of the fact that people go out of the country they come up with different cultures whatever are using if you I, don't even need to go out of the country i mean it doesn't even make sense that on the internet the, alone that's where we get all of this stuff I'm from i'm telling you so why would you say such a statement even if you are thinking about this is what i think some of these things they think about these things mm. in their mind you can think about it in your mind but when you bring it out to the public it's unfair, it's unfair. because somebody is wearing a dreads and has a tattoo doesn't make doesn't him a criminal mean, maybe exactly. he's a bad guy so this is what they are doing they are taking maybe on average many of the guys that they pick up for stuff like that i'm just saying i don't have that data maybe on average many of those guys have tattoos or have dreadlocks mm. and so because of that anybody who has tattoo or has a dreadlock is in trouble, in trouble. that's bad you're taking an aggregate data and you are fixing it on every individual it doesn't make any sense sure. you know you maybe even if it is 70 percent of the people that you have ha, that, that that are criminals mm. have those things you should still not everybody should be taken on a case-by-case -case basis mm. you understand it's very wrong to have those kind of assumptions here for example before a cop can stop you he, have a reason. you know they, they, there's a pro, they, they call it probable cause or probable reason or something like that okay. So maybe you are driving and he sees that you are wavering on the you know on the highway and he stops you. But then when he stops you at that point, he can ask you for anything. Mm -hmm. He will check your arrest whether you, there is an arrest He's warrant true. on yeah. you. Yeah. He will check everything there, and then he will let you go. Not that he will just pick you up and you know. American police system too has its issues. You know, largely so, yeah. you know we hear so, of these shootings mm -hmm, and all. Mm -hmm. But but to say that because somebody is wearing dreadlocks or is wearing a tattoo. That's Damn, that, that's a very backward statement yeah, to make. Backwards. To be honest, in this 2019, we're not even talking about 2001, 2019. So you are profiling people we're because they have stuff. dreadlocks and tattoo. Mm. Makes zero sense. You know, makes zero sense. Mm. There are a lot of celebrities who have tattoos. Are you going to arrest them? Exactly. You are not because they are well known and because they are rich and they drive big cars. You know, mm. so you so that making those kind of blanket broad statements is very wrong. Mm. There are a lot of great people that I know personally who have tattoos, who also have dreadlocks. You know, I don't think dreadlock yeah, will fit me. I would maybe I would have done dreadlocks have myself. Some that even have any tattoos. You know, yeah. so 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 it's so I think the, every case should be taken, you know, on a personal level. Don't you cannot make broad statements like mm -hmm. that, you know? Don't make broad statements like that. We know that oh, you're saying it's not uh, our culture does not take this and all. What does our culture wearing of um, um, suits is not our culture, not our culture, but we're all wearing suits today in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So you adapted, we adapted to that, so you have to adapt to some of these things. It doesn't mean they're bad guys, mm -hmm. you know. So that's my thoughts on that. Yeah, my own um, piece of advice since the Nigerian police force has decided to go gaga please <laughs> our young men try to dress decently do not sag because you, if you sag they will say you're a criminal <laughs> if you will carry your dreadlock make sure it's neat enough so they will mm. not say you are you understand because mm. sometimes they even stop you we are working on the my brother one, one time he went to go buy something from the next street they picked him up for no reason he went to buy bread did you watch that video of a personal guy that said he was coming back from work at night, very tired, hungry, carried his food in his, in his bag, mm. and then policeman stopped him, took the food, and ate the meat? <laughs> oh I mean, it God. doesn't even make sense. Like, he ate the meat. I'm serious, <laughs> illiterate, like hungry people. Oh, oh my God. But I think there are, there are a lot of factors to this. Yeah. You know, there's poverty, they don't pay them well, yeah, yeah, and the way yeah. they rec recruit them yeah. is actually totally yeah. poor. They don't follow the right procedures or process, yeah. they do not train them well. It's just a lot of problems, a lot of issues that cannot be solved in a day. Yeah, it's true. That so. is true. That is true. Anyways, that's where we're going to leave it to yeah. you guys. So, share your thoughts with us. You know, yeah, what do you think about this? Comment, you know, comment. Please comment. What do you think about dreads and tattoos? profiling people based on that mm -hmm. you know, just comment and let us know your thoughts yeah and subscribe as well and subscribe share yeah. like hit on the bell so you get notifications when i upload a new video and yeah that's, that's all. it for today all right